SCB proudly presents the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. Tell us, get off. They tell us. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. We don't want him to have it. We don't want him to have it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him to have it. No, no, no. We want to get him up here. Come on. <laughs> um. Me? Huh? Me? <laughs> you nervous yet, babe? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Drop it down, pow, just like you guys saw. 
on real time right there. Do you have the camera ready or nothing? We just started. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Chew On This. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Your host, Captain Ben Chansey, invites you to come along for some line singing, leader freeing, tackle busting action. Chew On This. Hey, if big fish is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right fishing show. Giant Goliaths, Monster Snook, Hungry Man Eating Sharks, Huge Redfish, and Big Time Tarpon. Chew, 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 Chew On This. Fishing television with with intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining saltwater fishing you have ever seen? Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, you ready for Iron Man? Yeah, I'll, I'll give that a shot. Love it, Here, 50 can, wide with Iron Man? Oh, if I can do the robot, you said the rod would be easier, right? Yeah, rod's way easier. Way but, easier. You lying to me? I'm lying to him, but it, you know. That's... <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah let's get this out of the way we want to be safe not dangerous i'll put this up yeah grab a grab iron man there you know i'm sweating like i was the one fighting him the whole time i don't know why well you did help uh, yeah bit. but you get most of the work on that well i had to sit down in between a wall and a rail i'm very impressed i want you to know that very, very impressed. All right, you guys, this is bait. We got a freshie. Okay, we'll just put this back here. We'll pull a little bit of line off. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to tail hook this bait right in here. Now, this hook looks kind of small, doesn't it? 19 odd, it looks like a little bitty hook now. All right, we're gonna slide it up underneath the back. Hook her in there pretty good. All righty. Chew on this. That's right. For a second time. <laughs> All right, what we gotta do is get it to lead into the, into the pile in there, and I'll do that part. Here we go. I still got it, it's still open. With yeah, that's you, good. you want it good. You want it to be open. Yeah. You want it to be open. And all right, see her swimming? Yeah. A little tough since we already knocked his glasses off this morning and everything. But he's about to get one right now. Flip it all the way up. All the way. Now, now push this button. Flip it here. Push this button. You're about to get one. Reel it tight. Reel it tight. Keep going tighter. Hold your right tip up. Do you have it? No. No? Okay. Hold your right a little yeah, bit higher. Always. He's this nerves, that's your ray. Your ray's yeah. like, ah, I don't want any of this. It's like, yeah, I don't think it's good for me. And she, eh, the ray's right. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your right tip up. If you get caught down there, you'll get pulled over. Come on, baby. Come oh, on. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm biting it. She's nervous, nervous. Okay, no, lift it's, it up. it's hard. It taps. Lift it up. No, the bait's nervous, which oh. is good. We like a nervous bait. See what happened is she saw something. So she got scared. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it right up close to the piling. Okay. Okay. So that way she doesn't swim far off of it. Because they're lazy. They're not going to follow it all the way out here. But you know, the other one in there is only like 200 pounds. And that one you got was like 500. What are the odds catching the same one twice? Well, I know. No, there's plenty of them down there. <laughs> there's a lot. So come on, baby. We know you're down there. We've already seen you. Isn't it great when you can know what kind of fish is down there, you guys? Because they come up and show themselves and say, hey, give me a piece of that. My cameraman likes to call them extra large pizzas. <laughs> you call this a pizza? Not for any pizza shop. I've no, ever I don't know. I mean, but pizza size? Uh, yeah. Maybe large? It's heavier than any normal pizza. Let's get you over there, baby. Come on. All right, and it's a cow nose ray that we're using. And I like the way they swim. They swim pretty good for us. Oh, we got it tight. No, 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 no,
Base 15 pounds, broad 20 pounds, <laughs> speed 245, <laughs> something three times as big as me. You guys, Richie, email me after watching the show on YouTube, right? Yeah. Sure. He said, South Korea, what's the show on YouTube? It said, I got to do that. I'm six foot three. Six six. Six six. <laughs> six six. I cut him short here. He's six six. 245 pounds. He's like, I'm a big boy. I can handle that. Like, All right, Richie, let's see what you got. He's like, I'll be down in the summer. So we booked the date, and here we are today. Representing the Army Proud already. It's fun now. It's fun now. It's fun now. Here we go. Come on, Rich. Come on, Rich. Oh, shit. We're crashing. Here it is. Come on, Rich. 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 Come Made us crash, made you crash. <laughs> oh, I know, we pulled this underneath the pilings there, huh? Boy, this stuff didn't break. You weren't expecting that, were you? No, I, was, I think that was bigger than the other one. Uh, actually, that's saw him, he's about 250. <laughs> A little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, that was You great. put him on the Iron Man, and you're like, what in the world is that? It was pulled that way and just... Oh, he came up right there. I couldn't get under it. Well, that Iron Man ride by yourself, that's what I'm here for you. I got you back. I'll give you a little rest. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. We gotta give the United States Army a little break. But when we come back, he gonna put a beating on him. All right, you guys stay tuned. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. That's awesome, ain't it? It just, but like, it, I was expecting it to pull down, and I was like, yeah, no, it's pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just, you just. <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh, they went Richie. I'm going to step in. <laughs> that, was, that was smaller. I, pulled, I pulled a lot harder. Yeah, he's about 250. It's because everything was on you. There's no rope there yeah, for well, you. Yeah, because it's just like, I'm down like this, and yeah. I'm like, he's pulling away, and I'm just trying not to go forward. Uh, it's, you got to get all your weight down like this. I love it. I thought I did. You gotta sit on the butt of the rod. So you take everything here and you keep it close to your chest and you just sit on the butt I of the rod. I have my rod tip on us. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Because it's like, remember earlier I go, don't keep your rod tip lower, you get pulled in. Yeah. And you kind of see what happens to yeah. you. So you get the fish, if he hits here, then you reel down to it, you pull up, right? As soon as you get it up, as far as you can get it up, then you can reel down. Okay. But if you don't get it up, then you just gotta keep your weight down and anchor in the boat. So when you anchor yourself yeah, I, kinda, in, I saw I saw it bad from scratch and yeah. Well we got plenty more rays in there. We got a good time to show everybody. <sighs> Alright you guys. Like you guys like Richie and other guys who watch the show on YouTube, they don't get to see it on TV, on national TV. Because they're in another country or something like that. And everybody asks, like here, you were interested, what kind of line you use, cat? What are you putting on there? And you're like, huh? And I go, alright Richie, I'll show you. So what I got is uh suffix today we're using a suffix superior 400 pound it's just all leader and what i do is i take this straight out of the bag just like this and i'll take these little ties off and we have to unspool each little piece of line to put it on here uh, this really won't quite take the whole spool but it'll take uh probably about 70 75 yards of it so today we're fishing 400 pound i really like the 600 pound i gotta get them guys to send me some more but uh it's pretty strong though, isn't it? Very strong. It'll Very strong. jerk a 200 and some pound man around with no problem. So the 400 does great, and we're gonna put it to the test. Fresh line, nothing but the best for you, Richie. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, here's a new knot I've been using because the 400 pound test has been breaking at the eye of the hook. So I take my line, put it through the hole, and then I put it back through the hole again. Now what I'm going to do next is I pull my hook down about halfway and then I pretend like I fold it over and then I pretend like I'm tying another uni knot. 
or actually a uni knot, which is actually what I'm doing. A little thick, a little cumbersome, but what it's going to do is, it's going to give me double, double the line space, or line capacity around my hook. See, so I'm going to have two pieces of line here. My knot's going to be four pieces of line, and then I'll cut these two tag ends. Pull it tight. Pull that in tight. In case my grandma always told me, don't pull in that. Don't pull big knots with your teeth. I didn't listen. That time. Okay. So this is what we got, you guys. I got a double knot with double the capacity. And you can see, see how this line's already cracking right there? And that's where I think a lot of times this heavier monofilament leader fails. So this seems to be working pretty good. We put a lot of pressure on it. Let's see how it works out for us. All right, stay up there on that front deck. Don't come down here, okay? All right. It'll give you more. It's like. It's like a roller coaster you really want to ride, but it's you look at it and you're just like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you, know you throw the bait in the water, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say that before. I like that. All right, well, I'm going to move a little bit closer, but hold on, because he could eat any moment, okay? I mean, any second he could eat. They could have come out. Tide's not moving a lot, so they'll, they'll swim out a little bit more. Keep that rod up a little bit higher for him. Yeah. I'll keep you in the boat a little bit longer. If he eats this, he's gonna head back towards the piling, right? Yeah, exactly. They always okay. go towards the structure. Let's raise one to swim under the boat. Yeah. I can't say if I blame it. But what I do is, is I'm like the kite flyer. These are like underwater kites. Yeah. And I'm the guy that's flying the kite. So I gotta kinda direct it to where it needs to go. Here we go. See how I've got him swimming? Yeah, Directing right, him right in down there? towards him. There we go. There we go, baby. Come on. All right, watch yourself. Because you know it's going to go from just the ray pulling and everything's okay to... <laughs> right, right, right on overboard. And then we might have to call the Navy. <laughs> no, send in the divers. <laughs> we have Army divers. It's okay. We don't need them. <laughs> All right, you can get down on the deck whenever it's like this. Yeah, it's I feel okay. a little safer down here. <laughs> All right, you guys, what am I, what are we supposed to tell them? Chew on this. All right, here we go. All right, that wasn't as effective as I wanted it to be, so we'll try that one more time. Watch your car. All right, baby, get up here. I want you closer to the dock. Come on, come on. this big dog. Oh, get on in there, get on in there, get on in there. Come on. Want to reel up some? No, you're good, you're good. Right now, the tide's not moving a lot. Okay. So it's not keeping us right up on it. So a lot of times when the tide doesn't move as much, they'll move around. So they don't necessarily sit on one side or the other. So right now, we're just kind of trying to coax them out to see where they are, because we don't know at this moment. But we want to know. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh I, thought, I thought I wanted to beat it. Nah, it's swimming. Get, 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 Real quick, like. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Get your, get your wife down, get your wife down.
Get away now. Get away now. Get away now. Push. Wait now. Wait now. Wait now. Wait now. Wait now. There you go. Wait now. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up now. Hey, hold up. Yeah, get in there. You're missing. You're missing.18-wheeler going that way, no brakes. <laughs> I got it. 6 foot 5, 245, he's in good shape. These fish are just terrible. That's Charles Barkley would say, huh? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Got my mic off, all kind of crazy stuff going on. Terrible, terrible. Well, we got the same. <laughs> we got the same. What happened to you guys? How come you're sitting down on the job? Twisting the freezer. Well, you're off. Fall down, get up, fall down. <laughs> that was tough stuff right there. I always get some blood marks when I do this. Always put a beating on me. Well, he said he's ready for round two, three, four, whatever it is. You guys stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> Remember when you talked to me on the phone and I said, well, Rich, it's going to be kind of like this. And you're like, well, I'm a pretty big guy. And I'm like, yeah, but it's uh, it's really bad. And you're like, well, I think I can handle it. Well, that's good. I like people that are in shape. It's amazing, huh? How big was it? About 350, 400 pounds. Bring it up now. <laughs> Oh, you got you a little bit there, didn't you? That was fun. <laughs> 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 the water started to go to sleep right here. Uh huh. I was like, yeah, oh my goodness. You, you got some raspberries on your knees. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she should have helped push off. <laughs> now I pulled to the side. I was like, no, it's going to when you get to see the that, fish. That's a picture of the champion. That's a validated butt kick. The winner. Right the cha a picture of the winner. I'm going to need a break. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Four, that, four times of that. <laughs> I'm going to need a break. I'm not kidding. What's the thing of the army now? The army strong? No, it's army strong, yeah. yeah. <laughs> army of one? No, oh, army, one, army of one was the last one. No, you just need an army and some weapons. <laughs> <laughs> There is no army of one in this crowd. <laughs> Instead of a whole community, yeah. takes a whole boat. Had to call That's tune right. in, take this fish out, and uh, <laughs> we lost a couple of good men. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to call in the strike team. Yeah. I usually get your butt kicked by 
six hours into it, and we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> It takes away your whole sense of power. Like, it just wipes you out. It's like you feel powerless. <laughs> it's like how hard you're pulling. It's just like... You know? And you're doing the best job of, of explaining it. Of anybody that's came out yet. Alright, my man. Tell them what you gotta tell them. Sure, miss. Right, give me one. He's gonna get eaten. Yeah, he's gonna get eaten. You ready? <laughs> this is a tip up. Right tip up. Now when he hits, you reel down real fast until it gets tight. And then you pull up with your weight down. Get him, get him, pull, pull. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him, come on. No way. No, hold on, hold on. You need to own that space. Don't try that. Just sit here. Roll your foot. All right, check this out. Sit your butt down right now. No, no, not like that. Whenever you sit your butt down, this comes up and your butt goes down. Yeah, like that. See? Oh. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, see how much power you got, man? That's what we need. See, what you're doing is, is you're going down. Let's not put weight on the rod. Right. So what you want to do? Try it again? So, yeah, see, see, that's bad. That's the only thing you're punching those fish back. That's what I got to have you do. You punch them back, and then they won't be able to put you back in there. You can turn them. The big guy, you'll be able to turn them in the car. You got to use your leverage and your body weight. And see, you're doing that to me, so I know you can do it to them. So you own this part of the rod, and you'll get them. All right, give me one. You got it. You got it. You got it, man. Come on. Come on. Get your butt down. Get your butt down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, you come back just now. You gotta get your foot down. We got it, we got it, just now, just now, just now. Come on. Three, two, three, two, three, two, tip all the way up, that's time for you to burn down. Real? Yeah. I said I thought I was supposed to hold him there. No, whenever you get the rod tip up, that's oh. how hey that's how we keep him coming our direction. Okay. So like he ate it just now. Uh -huh. We had him coming, didn't we? He was coming our way. And then and he we, turned again and, and the reason why he was able to turn is because we didn't reel that line back and get him coming the rest of the way our way. So I thought we were just like holding him in a no, new uh -uh, position. Because because they pull us he pulled us back into the uh, we got it, we got it.
And you're like, uh oh, I got this. I'm like, well, what's he doing? I'm supposed to have the pressure right now. He's turning. <laughs> Uh, give me a little bit of I gotta cut all this off. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Get the button down. 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 Hold on, hold on. Get the button down. 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 Get the button No, 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 just hold, 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 Well, hey, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show, the Glass Challenge with the Army. I got Richie here, and Richie did a great job, baby. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. With that 500-pounder you caught, we've never used that rope before. He wrapped that thing around his hands and pulled it up like Steve Irwin. That was sweet, baby. That's a good job. I did better than Steve Irwin. Ah, oh, he did. R.I.P. Though. Uh, you're paying him back, paying him yeah. back for me. <laughs> well, you guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Hillman Bill did a great job, and I'm so happy that the Army had a chance to come down and take the Goliath challenge and do a good job and put a beating on those Goliaths. They might push them back a little bit, but we had a good time no matter what, right? No, it, was, it was a blast. <laughs> well, you guys, when you see that big fish, especially when you see that giant Goliath, what do you tell him? Chew on this. Chew on this. Richie knows already. Godspeed. We'll see you guys next week. Monster. We reuse it. All right, let me get, no, 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 we don't right there. Let me get these hooks out of her. And we'll let her out. Great job, my man. <laughs> that is awesome. He's about 500 pounds. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's a giant.